Josh, you're coming into this camp off the back of a player of the match performance against Montenegro. How are you feeling in yourself at the moment? Because it feels like we're almost being reintroduced to Josh Ian in a Wales shirt. Yeah, I feel, yeah, but that was a good way to put it, I think, because it's, I've, I've been in a lot of camps over the last few years and it's, it has been frustrating when you, when you come and meet up for a week, 10 days and, and you're away from obviously your family, for example, and you don't play, you just feel like, oh, come on, I just want, I just want that chance. And for the manager then to, to actually put me in and he gave me the confidence before the game to, to go out there and just show everyone what, what you're about. And I don't feel like a lot of the Welsh fans have actually seen what, what I can do. I feel like obviously maybe the Swans fans, etc. obviously have, but um, yeah, it was just for me to go out there and show, show how good I can be. And thankfully, I feel like I had an all right game. Because of course, when you look at your club career, I believe it's over 300 senior appearances in club football, but on the international side, you've got to be patient haven't you? How good does it feel that you've got a really good opportunity under Craig Bellamy at the moment? Yeah, exactly. I think um, obviously over the last few years we have had some, some good players in my position so it, it's been, it has been hard competing against them because some of them are playing at the top level, they're top players. Um, you see it in, on the training ground that they're, they're top players so for me I think it's always been about being patient but obviously showing in training what I can do and how I can benefit as well if, if, if I get on the pitch and um, I think obviously with the new manager coming in, I think the way that he sees football is how I see football. I think I think it's it's good. It's a good mix, and um, I think the way the manager obviously sees it as well is I think it accommodates everyone in, in the squad. I think we're, there's some good footballing players in, in, in the Welsh setup, so I think everything's just coming together at the right time. You mentioned the word confidence just now, and in terms of Bellamy and what conversations he's had with you individually but also as a group how do you think he's helped your personal game in a Wales shirt so far? Yeah I think he has because everything here is it, they go into every detail of, of everything I think if they record all training and then they will show you back training of what you could have done you could have done there and um, I think it has been here a lot because as a like a midfielder it's about obviously your body positioning and which maybe not everyone goes on about but it's how important it is for your body positioning and just not always following the ball, pulling away from it's just there's little things that obviously that him, Crofty and all the all the coaching staff here, they're the they're big into little detail, details and I think that makes a big difference then in your game overall. For you personally, Josh, September twenty fourteen, you got called up for the Wales under twenty ones for the first time. So okay. we're talking ten yeah. we're talking ten years now. When yeah. you you know look back at that journey, how do you reflect on it being sat here and of course bearing in mind you captained your country over the summer as well. Um, yeah, it's been a lot of ups and downs because obviously I've had some serious injuries in, in that time as well, which is something that sometimes makes you as well as a player because people doubt you coming back from them. And I feel like I have I've even come, up, come back better, I feel like. And yeah, it's been a long journey, obviously, with, with Wales. Um, you do a lot of travelling and to, when you don't play, it's like... It's a big blow sometimes, and you go away to these places. But yeah, I think especially like yeah, like you're saying, to wear the armband and to play the, the other the other month and uh, like in front of the Welsh crowd, and it's it's something you dream of, and it, it feels like uh, like everything's coming together at the right time. Like I said, and yeah, it's just something that's just surreal. Really, it's something I've always wanted to do. But there's always been good good players ahead of me. But it's just being patient and just showing really like just to just never give up, just keep going. Because you mentioned injuries and some of them have, you know, been harrowing at times. What, were there moments where you thought, in terms of Wales, this actually might not happen again? I might not wear that jersey. Yeah, it probably was. Definitely after, obviously, maybe the second time I'd, I'd done my knee. I think there's a, a period there, so like thinking, will I get back to to play for the, for the country? And yeah, it's just I've always believed in myself and knew if I can get back to my form, I feel like the way that international football is, it's a, a technical, I think, I feel like it's, it suits me more some, maybe than sometimes club football can be, because it can be more physical, whereas international is technical and tactical, and I feel like that's where I can elevate in my game. So, yeah, it's, 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 it's a good time, I think. <laughs> if I could take you back to the summer, leading the players out against Gibraltar, wearing the captain's armband, but during a really difficult moment for the national team, what was that? like in your head, I can imagine quite 
bittersweet at the time, perhaps? Yeah, exactly. It's not something I ever even thought of really to captain we had at all. It was just about playing. It was, there's was never thought of captaining. It was always just to put on the shirt is, is, is a proud moment. And yeah, when the manager obviously pulled me, because it, it was a young team, but obviously I played, like you said, a lot of league games and I'm quite an experienced player. So when he said it, yeah, it's something that just surreal. I can say now going forward, my grandkids, whatever, that I've captain Wales. So it's, yeah, it's a special thing. Obviously, it's special for my family as well, some of my friends to to say as well. So yeah, it's just surreal. It wasn't obviously the best results, but yeah, it's for, for me personally, it was, it was a big moment. What do you think that moment did for you in terms of your mentality and confidence as a player? Yeah, maybe it gave me more confidence going forward with being in the in the Wales squad, maybe not so, like, so much club football because I feel like my confidence was high anyway. I had a good season last year and yeah, maybe it's, it's give me confidence to know I can hold my own and that the boys like kind of respect me in, in a way of they don't just see me as a number, they, they can see me as an actual player competing for a position in, in the team. So yeah, I think it, it was a big moment for me going forward. Two more games to go, Josh, to this Nations League campaign. It feels like it's flown by, but when you Look ahead, Turkey away, Iceland at home, unbeaten under Craig Bellamy so far as well. How determined are you as a group to finish as strongly as you can? Yeah, exactly. We're under no illusions that Turkey on Saturday will be a tough tough place to go. We know how good they are. They've obviously done well in the summer. Um, yeah, but we're, we're as a team, we know we're going to be the best prepared we can be. And this is about us as players when we get on the pitch then to implement what the manager's got into us into the week, what to do, when to do it. And yeah, we, we know that if we can perform to our levels, then it's, it's going to be a good game and hopefully we can come out on the right side. Because there'll be some fond memories, you know, that first home game of the campaign, Bellamy's first game against Turkey. It felt like that performance and even the result, you know, players saying we felt like we could have won that game. What do you think that did in terms of the group's mentality? Um, I think it just gave us all confidence straight away I think because we knew through the week that what we've been doing it, it suits us as a team it accommodates us all because there's some very good players in the squad and I think to do it against a team like Turkey is it's, it's a big thing and it's a big step and you can do all the training you want but if you can't do it in the game it doesn't mean as much but f for the boys to go out there and show what we've been working on works and you get the, the rewards from it it's just a big thing and I think that's it's been a good thing for us going forward. Finally Obviously, with this Nations League campaign, there's been a lot of focus, a lot of buzz about Bellamy and it's his campaign. But it's so important to bear in mind these games can be a massive help in terms of qualifying for the World Cup as well. How important is it that everyone keeps that in mind going into these last two games? Yeah, exactly. We, like the manager, I think, has been saying that it's, it, he's the more imp most important thing is for us to performance and to, our identity is to show on the pitch in every game. and. We know if we can show our identity, then it gives us the better chance of winning these games. So, but you like every professional footballer, you go into any game you want to win. So that that's obviously our mentality as as a, as a nation as well. We want to win every game. So for us, it's it's about showing what we can do. But hopefully, then the result will come. Thank you.